Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Ethereum has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Ethereum, the price went down only slight by about 0.4% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 2,368. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 57, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, there is a bearish divergence, which means the price could go down from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Looking at the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 63, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Searching for divergence in the 3 hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent %K line is below the percent %D line, which means the current trend is on the downside. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Looking at the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI of 73 is located in the upper region, meaning that the price is being overbought and we can expect a comeback or for the price to remain on track for some time. Looking for divergence in the daily time frame, there is a bearish divergence, which means the price could go down from now or at least consolidate for some time. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Looking at the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. As we can see from the MACD histogram, the momentum is indecisive at this moment. This means that we can expect for the price to remain the same for some time and you should wait and for the MACD line to cross the signal line. This will mean it's bearish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and the pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. See you next time.